Unit 5. Since when? Pages 48 and 49. 1. Listen and discuss. Inventions. Many inventions aren't as old as you think. The following inventions are part of people's everyday lives, but some haven't been around for all that long. Read about their history. Does any of the information surprise you? Printers. Mass printing has been around since Johannes Gutenberg invented movable type and the printing press in 1440 in Germany. Nowadays, small, portable, high-tech printers can be found in offices and homes everywhere. Computers. Computers have changed the lives of so many people. The IBM 701 computer, produced in 1953, was huge, slow, and took up an entire room. It was the first computer that was successfully sold to businesses. Smaller PCs came into widespread use in the 1980s. Over the last few years, laptop computers have become smaller, faster, and lighter, and they contain a greater number of features. Cameras. Digital photography hasn't been around for that many years. In 1975, Stephen Sasson, an engineer at Eastman Kodak, captured a black and white image on a digital cassette tape at a resolution of 0.01 megapixels. Before that, cameras used rolls of film to produce a photograph. George Eastman introduced rolls of film to the public in 1888 for use in his box camera. Televisions. Television has been around for a long time. The television set has become a common household device. It first became commercially available in the late 1930s, and black and white TVs became widespread in homes in the 1960s. Nowadays, we have digital color TVs, and even mirrors that are also TV screens. Stoves and ovens. The first successful gas stove appeared in 1826, and the first electric stove in 1891. The microwave oven was invented by accident in 1946, when engineer Percy Spencer realized that microwaves could heat and cook foods faster than conventional ovens. The first microwave oven for use in homes was produced in 1967. Cell phones. Portable cellular phones first appeared in the late 1970s. The early model was called the Brick. It weighed two pounds, 907 grams, offered just a half hour of talk time for every recharge, and sold for $3,995. Even though it was clumsy and expensive, consumers lined up by the hundreds to buy the first cellular phones as soon as they hit the market. Since then, phones have gotten smaller and much lighter, and they have become a necessary part of everyday life.